Okay, in this tutorial, we are going to create a player and we're going to make the player move using the WASD keys. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the object. We're going to right click on the object and then we're going to go to create and then go to object. Now, because this is the player, we are going to prefix this with O player. And once we've done that, we're then going to bind the sprite to the player object. If I click on the no sprite here, and then go into the sprites folder. You can see I've got one there, which is called S player. And that basically then assigns this sprite to this player. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a series of events in. So if I click on the add event, and we're going to then go down to the key down option. And we're going to then go down to letters. Now this is where you get all the letters of the alphabet. So we're going to start with D, which is going to actually be moving right. So if I click on D, you can notice in this version of Game Maker, it's asking me if I want to do it via code or visual GML. I'm actually going to go with visual GML. This used to be called drag and drop. So if you are using a slightly older version and it's called DND, then that's the one we need to check. And we are going to then click on this, don't ask again for this project, and click OK. Now, the first thing that comes up is that we have now an event, which is a key down, which is linked to our player. Now, what we're going to do, I'm just going to move this over by clicking the middle mouse button. And we're then going to add in a var. And what we're going to do with this one is we're going to have a lowercase x. And then we're going to give it a value of, say, 4. Now, we need to make sure this is relative. Otherwise, what will happen is the player will only move to position 4 or 0.4 in our grid. Now, we're going to do the same thing again but this time we're going to do the a key so i'm going to click on add event and we're going to go down to key down and this time we're going to go to letters and we're going to go a and because now we're heading towards the left we're going to still do the same x and then we're going to do minus four so that then puts it in the opposite way and i'm going to click relative there now just to test this out i'm going to open my room by double clicking on the room and we're going to add in a new instance layer here. And we're going to right click on this instances underscore one. And we're going to call this player. So this now is the layer that the player is going to go on. So if I drag my player into the room and leave go, it's now on the player layer. If I press play, it'll then start to compile. And then what you should see is our player is able now to move left and right. So if I hold the D key down, it goes obviously towards the right. And if I hold the A key down, it goes towards the left. Now we need to do up and down as well. So what I'm going to do is open my O player back up by double clicking. And then we're going to go to add event. We're going to go to key down. And this time we're going to go to letters. And we're going to do W which is going up. Now, anything going up is on the Y axis. So I'm going to drag this in and we're going to say variable lowercase y. And we're going to give this a minus four as well. And it needs to be relative. Now it's almost backwards to what you think it'll be. So going up, you may think it's a positive number, but it's actually a, a negative number. So what we're going to do now is the S key. So add event and we're going to do key down and then we're going to go to letters and S. And we're going to drag this one in again, and we're going to go Y, and then 4 relative. Now, the reason I've used the X and the Y is so that I can actually go diagonally with this. So if I go down and up, and then right and then left. Now, if I go left and hold the down key, I can basically go diagonally as I go around. Now, at the moment in time, we haven't got any... Uh, boundaries on this game so we can actually go out to the room and we can come back in to another point and that will be then the next thing that we're going to be working on so that's how you would create a player to move using the WASD keys